proud old Boston, which used to be called the Athens of America, yields to progress. And in the process, Cornhill Street, once the book publishing and selling center of the country, loses its last bookstore. The oldest in the United States, the Brattle Bookshop, ends with a bang-up giveaway. Proprietor George Gloss sounds the call to let bibliophiles in to take as many of his 50,000 remaining volumes as they can carry, and all for free. Each group will be allowed to stay inside loading up on literature for exactly 10 minutes. Then the shop will be cleared and 50 more constant readers will be admitted to get their share. This philanthropic gesture was occasioned by a forced moving because of encroachment of an urban renewal project in this quaint area. It's around Scully Square, where generations of servicemen foregathered on pursuits somewhat less erudite than those of the freeloading customers here today. The more valuable books had already been taken to a nearby store, from which Mr. Gloss will have to move again, though not back here. The historic building will be faithfully preserved in every aspect but rentals, which will increase tenfold. The last few unwanted tomes are left behind in the dust along with the ghosts of Whittier and Lowell and Longfellow that, who knows, may feel the soaring towers and broad plazas quite befitting the town they thought the hub of the universe.